let us apply nodal analysis with voltage sources in problem number one. So here, we have to find the node voltages given in the circuit. So we have a circuit here with node voltages V1 and V2. And as you can see, meron uh, tayong current sources plus we have a voltage source dun sa ating uh, circuit. It is actually located between two non-reference nodes. So, nandito na rin yung reference node natin. And then, we have two volt source between two non-reference nodes. Meaning to say, we are under case 2 where in magkakaroon tayo ng super node. So, papakita ko na lang kung ano yung magiging itsura ng ating figure once na naglagay tayo ng mga uh, current. So, itong unang brush natin, which is 2 ampere. Pwede mo nang lagyan ng 2 ampere to. Okay, so this is 2 ampere. And then, we have current here, I sub 1. And then, ito kasi is a super node. Ayan. Tayo maglalagay ng current dyan. And then, dito is I sub 2. And then, isang pababa na 7 ampere. So, itong V sub 1 and V sub 2, since we have a source, for this source located uh, between two nodes, magiging super node ito. So, ano yung magiging itsura ng ating circuit? So, ito siya. Okay. Ayan. So, again, we have 2 ampere entering node 1. And then, we have I sub 1 leaving node 1. For node 2, we have V sub 2. Um, leaving that node is I sub two which is yun and i7 ampere na given okay yung ating uh, part dito itong part na yan that is actually our super node ayan kaya na wala siya tapos itong super node na to yung voltage natin within the super node gagawa tayo ng isang loop diyan lalagyan na lang natin din yung ating uh, circuit so we have Terminal voltage is V sub 1 with our polarity at saka yung V sub 2 natin. And then, uh, nandiyan na yung 2 volt source natin. And then, we apply uh, KVL sa loop na to. So, umpisahan na natin yung solution natin by applying KCL on our super node. So, apply KCL to the super node. Uh, 1, 2. Oh, yeah. Super node 1, 2 kasi siya. So, entering positive 2 ampere. Okay. Minus. Ano yung leaving dyan? I sub 1. I sub 1. And then, isasama na natin dito to, yung nasa kabila. Yung nasa node 2. Kasi pagsasamahin natin yan eh. So, kasama na yung nasa kabila. So, leaving pa rin. So, pag didikitin nyo yung node 1 and node 2, yun ang ating super node. Tapos, isasama na natin yung I sub 2, leaving siya. So, minus I sub 2. And then, yung ating last current, which is yung 7 ampere current source. So, minus 7 ampere current source equals 0. After that, we have, simplify muna natin. Okay, so, siguro itong I1 and I2 negative, dito na lang natin sila sa kabila. So, I sub 1, positive yan. Okay, okay tapos, para hindi tayo na nalilito. 2 minus negative 7 is negative 5. So, equals, nililipat natin sa kabila. So, I sub 1 minus I sub or plus I sub 2. Okay. And then, uh, ayusin, lang na, ayusin lang natin. So, that, that is I sub 1 plus I sub 2 equals negative 5. Afterwards, apply Ohm's law. So, apply tayong Ohm's law. What is I sub 1? I sub 1 is V sub 1 minus 0 over 2. V sub 1 minus 0 over 2. Or lalagay ko na lang na V sub 1 over 2. Plus, what is I sub 2? I sub 2 is, ito tayo, V sub 2 over ano yung minus 0. Kasi ito yung reference, uh, ano natin, reference node. Ay, hindi siya nakikita. Anyway, obvious naman na ito ang reference node. V sub 2 minus 0 over 4. Okay, equals negative 5. 
And then we simplify that by multiplying both sides of the equation by 4. So that is 2v sub 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2v sub 1. Let's cancel out ito. Plus v sub 2 equals negative 20. And so this is our equation 1. After that, so nakagawa na tayo ng KCL and then we substitute yung mga load voltages natin doon sa ating mga branch currents. Ano na ang next na gagawin natin? Since nagamit na natin yung super node, wala na ibang node dyan. We apply KVL doon sa ating uh, voltage na located, okay, voltage source na located doon sa ating uh, super node. Ayan. So, do-drawing mo lang yung part na to. Ito, do-drawing ka lang. Itong part na to, do-drawing mo lang. Okay? So, 2V sub 1 and yung ating mga node voltages. Okay? Yun lang ang gagawin natin. And then, we apply KC, KVL, Kirkup's voltage law. So, apply apply KVL at loop 1. Let's say loop 1 to. So, pangalala natin yung loop 1. Okay. So, that is first terminal ang ano natin, ang sign, negative P sub 1. Okay, minus 2. 2 volts, and then plus V sub 2. Equals 0. Arrange now natin, negative P sub 1 plus V sub 2 equals positive 2. This is our equation 2, second equation. So, we have two unknown voltages, V sub 1 and V sub 2. We have two equations. We have two unknowns. So, we can use elimination method or pedering matrices using Kramer's rule to get the value of uh, V sub 1 and V sub 2. So, ako, dahil sanay na tayo, Kramer's rule. We will apply Kramer's rule to find V sub 1 and V sub 2. Pero kung gusto yung elimination, sis, madali lang naman if elimination, pwede. So, i-reflect muna natin sila as matrix, negative 1, coefficients tayo ng V sub 1, 2, and negative 1, and then V sub 2, 1, and 1. Okay. And then, yung ating mga variable, V sub 1, V sub 2, equals yung ating mga constant, which is negative 20 and 2. Ayan. And then, we'll, we'll get yung D natin, okay? Determinus D2, negative 1, 1, and 1. So, yan muna lang. 2 times 1, 2. And then, minus 1 times negative 1, negative 1. So, that is 3. And then, yung D sub 1 natin, palitan natin yung ating first column ng negative 20 and 2. And then, back to the original 1 and 1. So, negative 20 times 1, negative 20 minus 2 times 1, that is 2. So, that is equivalent to negative 22. And then, for T sub 2, yung ating second column, palitan natin ng negative 20 and 2. And then, balik lang tayo sa original. So, that is 2 times 2, 4 minus negative 20 times negative 1. That is positive 20. So, that is 4 minus negative 20. So, negative 16. 4, okay, V sub 1, ano yung V sub 1 natin? That is D sub 1 over D. D sub 1 is negative 22 over 3. So, D sub 1, D sub 1 is negative 7.333 volts. For V sub 2, that is D sub 2 over D. D sub 2 is negative 16 over 3, so that is negative 5.33 volts. So, this is our answer. You will see. Okay, for problem and problem top 1, using nodal analysis with voltage sources.